How to program all keys lost for 2015 RAM Pro Master City with Active Alarm using Autel IM608. Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're into mastering automobile diagnostics, you're in the right place. Before we dive into this important guide, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a video. And if you find this information useful, show some love by clicking the super thanks button. Now let's get right into it. So. You've got a 2015 Ram Pro Master City, and you're dealing with the dreaded all keys lost situation. And oh, let's not forget about that active alarm and locked BCM body control module. I know it sounds like a lot, but don't worry, I've got your back with a detailed solution. Now, here's the deal if you're trying to program all keys lost on a 2015 Ram Pro Master City with an active alarm, you'll face a unique challenge. The Autel IM6082 can easily handle the task, but there's a catch. If the BCM is locked due to the alarm being active, that's a whole different ballgame. When the alarm is triggered, the BCM gets locked, and no programming can happen directly via OBD. You might be wondering, what does the IM6082 do in this case? Well, when there's no alarm, it can get the job done through OBD. But once that alarm's in the mix, you're dealing with a situation that requires a little extra work. The Fiat BCM and the ProMasters BCM are different, and even though Autel has a flash to bypass the alarm on Fiat models, it doesn't work for the ProMaster. Here's where things get interesting. If the doors are locked and you either open them or try to start the vehicle with a chip that's unrecognized, the system will trigger the alarm. So, if the alarm's active, the Autel IM608 won't allow you to proceed with the key programming. The key is to disable the alarm first. To disable the alarm, you need to simulate the key. This is where the emergency start process comes in. You need to read the immobilizer data from the BCM, simulate the key, and use it to start the vehicle. This is how dealerships do it, so you can totally handle it with the right tools. Here's a quick rundown on how to get this done. First, you'll need to pull the BCM and simulate the key. By reading the immobilizer data from the BCM, you can create the simulated key and disarm the alarm. This process is specific to the ProMaster City with key ignition. So if you're working on a push start model, you're in luck, it's a bit easier. Once the BCM is off, read the data to make the simulator key. Hold the simulator key next to the ignition, start the vehicle, and let it run for about two minutes. This unlocks the BCM and lets you proceed with key programming like normal. Now don't rush it, you need to make sure the key simulation is done properly and that the alarm is fully deactivated. If not, the system won't let you enter programming mode. Trust me, take your time. Next, you're ready to move on to the IMMO side. Open up the All Keys Lost menu, select the process, and Auto will show you the wiring diagrams for the BCM. There are four BCM options that you'll need to choose from. A quick note, when you're working with the BCM, be sure not to split any connections. Use the resistor it asks for. Trust me, it makes all the difference. I had to grab a 10 ohm resistor to get things working. Once you're connected to the car, an auto has loaded the diagram. You're locked in. No backing out now, so you'll need to complete the rest of the process without interruption. Oh, and here's another key tip. You'll need an APB112 and a test key. Theoretically, after you create the key file, you can use the simulator and test key to drive around without issue. But don't skip this step, as it's crucial to the success of the process. And that's how you do it. For your 2015 ProMaster City with all keys lost, locked BCM, and active alarm, this is the method that will get you up and running. It may seem complex, but take it step by step, and you'll be able to handle it like a pro. Thanks for sticking with me all the way to the end. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks. And hey, if you really want to support the channel, hit that super thanks button. Until next time, happy diagnosing.